dance class organist Kirova. I thank you so much for following us, for liking our content and uh, replying and sending us questions. And we got this tremendous response when it came to wedding dance, all about how to select a teacher, how to hire a teacher, what to pay attention to. So I decided to feature all the questions here. So one of the most popular questions was how to select a teacher, what to pay attention to. And here it comes such as um, finding friends or dating. First, you gotta see the person. And if it's difficult and understand you don't want to spend money before you find somebody worth it, get on a FaceTime, get on Google Meets, Google Hangouts, talk to the person, see what is the charisma, how do they talk, how do they articulate, um, do you get a good vibe that you want to be with that person in one room. Because ultimately, aside from dance training, you have to be willing, as well as your fiance, to be in the same room with the teacher. So first things first, get to see the person, get to talk to them, ask all the questions there. And if you feel bad, move on. It's your time, your money, and it's your way. Another popular question was how many lessons do you need? And my opinion, I've been teaching wedding dance for 10 years in New York City, I would suggest three options. So if you're just looking to learn a few moves and uh, just to move freely to the song of your choice or any random song that your band may play, three lessons usually is enough. Um, if you're looking for more or less choreographed dance, uh, specific for two, two and a half minutes, um, I would select five lessons. If you're looking for something more special with the lift and the dip and all that fancy stuff and it has to be very particular, 10 lessons would be my recommendation because in the first five you're going to be learning choreography and in the next five you're going to work on styling, on posture, on position, so it also looks not just to learn the steps, but also that you're performing well and feeling at ease. Another question was how early would you start? I would suggest to start somewhere between three or six months if you have a lot of time and also you're planning about 10 hours um, of lessons and something very specific, half a year, yes. Um, other than that, three months is fine. Even a month before that is good, but also take in consideration that the last week before wedding is scratched from the schedule because you're going to be super busy just running all the errands and fixing things so maybe you leave earlier so i always suggest to schedule in your head your very last class before you're leaving or before you get busy and then schedule back and see how many classes you can fit in and another question was how long should the dance be so if you're just dancing to the band and moving freely and you know just enjoying it Maybe a minute would be fine, but if you choreograph something, at least two, two and a half minutes is recommended because you start also with the way you walk on the floor and take the hold, and this also takes up to 20, 30 seconds out of the time, so two, two and a half minutes is optimal. Another question was how to select music. I always recommend to go with your intuition and your feeling. The song doesn't have to just sound well and people would love it. It has to have meaning to you because ultimately it will go down in history as your song that you perform for the very first time as husband and wife. And the very last for today, uh, people would say, what does it mean to dance and what to take in consideration? One thing is the way you walk on the floor. So if you take a hand, hands, and you walk out and you take a hold, you get it already, uh, get into the atmosphere needed for your wedding dance. If you're last classy, you want to be more active, yeah, you can come in and wave and take a hold, but also pay attention to how you walk on the floor. And also, what do you do after? Are you going to invite people on the floor to dance with you to share the song, or you do the final dip and you fade it out, or it's a clean cut? So pay attention to that. Ask your teacher to give you all the ins and outs about all the stuff. Also, if you have particular dress, if it's really limiting here um, in your leg room or whatnot, pay attention to that because it will ultimately also be important for the moves you're gonna be able to make or not. So pay attention to that. Very, very last thing, the most important factor is it's your day, it's your dance. The main point is that you have fabulous time performing because it is a performance um, on your wedding day and feel as the queen and the king right so main point is take all the stress factors away if you're scared about some certain move maybe a lift or a dip 
cut it out, scratch it out. It's not worth doing it because on your wedding dance, you have to concentrate on your love, on your celebration, and just sharing the love with everybody who's there. So in terms of costumes, um, shoes, hair, makeup, take all these little things in consideration beforehand, so on the wedding dance, you're free to go. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, submit through DM and I'm gonna put another video with all the answers. Have a great one and happy preparations.